What are, what are tango tourism? In short, they're kind of sort of like having a daily reminder of tango technique every single day for about a year and a half. Okay, tango tourism is the seminar. The seminars take that idea, take the ideas from um, tango tourisms and literally uh, take it up a, a couple of notches. Well, it gives you uh, four areas that we focus on. One is your uh, posture. Um, two is your walk, three is your embrace, and four is what to listen for in the music, interpreting the music. Um, these four things combined, when you take them apart and you put them back together, we hope, or I hope, that you walk away from the seminar feeling, wow, okay, I have a radically different understanding of what I'm trying to do here. Um, I'm not going to lie to you, it's hard work. Um, it's going to make you feel like you can't dance afterwards because you're going to start to see all the things that you were doing before as bad or wrong. And while that's, that's all fun and well and good, that's one of the only ways that we can change is that seeing those things as wrong or less than desirable, not wrong, but less than desirable, and then taking it to the next level and persevering, getting to the other side and saying, okay, I can do this. I can, I can, I can make this better. And that's what, that's what the seminars are all about, is trying to get you to the point where your dance experience with your partners is so much better than it was before. And that's what I mean when I say, you know, this is the not-so-secret guide to a better dancing experience, because that's what we're trying to do. It's not just about steps and patterns, because I don't teach steps and patterns. I teach from the perspective of creating a better foundation for you as a dancer. And that better foundation are those four things that I talked about. Better posture, or, or should, I should say an improved posture, a much more deeper understanding what it is that you're trying to do with posture. Um, your walk and how to generate that from a leading perspective as well as from a, fo a following perspective. Um, your embrace and all the things that can possibly go wrong with that. Um, and then last but not least, you know, hearing the music uh, clearly for the first time so that at the end of every single tanda that you dance as a lead or follow your partner says to you I'd like another can we do that again that's ideally what you're looking for that is my primary my my primary goal in teaching is to create a much better dancing experience for both lead and for follower to hear the nuance of that communication that I know exists and can happen but frequently doesn't happen so I hope you, uh, I hope you buy the book, uh, and I hope you join me for the seminars, and I look forward to seeing you in class.